Hello Hillary TV, we're backstage at DAX Fall 2007. and welcome to Hillary TV. I'm here in the gardens of the beautiful Rotunda Bissano and you can probably hear the birds singing behind me just to prove that we do get up early even though we're fashionistas. We're here actually for the very very first show by Giles Deacon, the British designer for the heritage label Dax. It's had a bit of a sort of rocky period in the last few years because it's been trying to relaunch itself get a really sort of firm grip on international fashion and hopefully with this collection by Giles Deacon, one of our brightest young designers, it will do just that. taking you know this heritage label and where you're going to take it totally well we just really wanted to I, th I think there's much more to British design than a like, pastiche of old England right I think it's been very well trodden as a path and been sold back to us a trillion times by Americans and Italians Ralph Lauren yeah. whoever. Exactly. so I think you know within the realm of, of say of, of British design something really contemporary and like modern tailoring super sharp and just make it really relevant from Dax it was a quick dash across town to backstage at Dolce & Gabbana, where we were lucky enough to catch up with Giselle Bunchen, making her first catwalk appearance in five years. So what I do now, I try to do my contracts and have a life, because yeah. you know, I didn't have a life before. Yeah. When you work like this, you know, shows, I used to do like a hundred shows a season, I was, wow. yeah, it was crazy. And then you have to do the editorial and the stuff for the queen, so you never really have time off. Yeah. Know? I think it's important to have a life, you know. From the backstage to the front row. Years ago, Dolce & Gabbana tried an experiment with plasticized and metallicized fabrics, which wasn't entirely successful. But in the ensuing years, they've been working really hard and researching, and they discovered a way to actually take real fabrics like silk and satin and wool and apply a coating of metal and of plastic. So it gave a kind of extraordinary futuristic finish. On the catwalk, a lot of these clothes looked as if they were made from um, actual plastic or from PVC or from leather but in fact it was all an illusion because they were real real walls absolutely covered with a thick coating of metallic paint in either copper bronze pewter silver or gold and often then re-embroidered with metal with sequins with Swarovski crystals the whole effect was just dazzling <laughs> 